Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Micro G. And before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Micro G is a space adventure game that came out about three years ago. I'm digging the graphics. You got the astronaut you're gonna play, you got astronauts that you can unlock. 250 coins is kind of excessive. So far I have eight coins. And just to be clear, this game is kind of difficult. I do like the menu UI. I like how there's a bed, there's an arcade machine with the spaceman floating and spinning. Considering you're playing a game where the spaceman is floating and spinning, it's like a holistic theme. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Basically you have this character and you press the right side to push gravity down and the left side to push gravity up for the character. The character is floating in space and I would say the best and unique thing that this game offers is, this is going to sound weird, but death. How the character dies. Other than that, the game is pretty straightforward of just you're kind of spinning through space and you can hit oh, oh let's oh, see, I just got shredded you can hit up or down to control the movement of the character but you can only do so much because when in space you're constricted with the settings I'm sure it took a while for them to set up the gravity on this because you kind of want to do it just right. This is a, you know, I don't see a lot of games, play styles, or mechanisms like this. It's still to be determined if this is like extremely fun, but the cool feature is you can see how the character is just flapping all over the place. Ooh, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I think it's going to kill me, so I'm just going to stay away from it. Up a little bit. Oh shit, I just see. Hey, look at that. My guy got entangled in the blue and purple laser. That was kind of cool. Let's try to maintain a good balance. So I think the way the game is set up is that there's just action buttons that push the, the gravity down. Ah, oh, uh, I got shredded. Action buttons that push the gravity down or up for the main character. Uh, okay, watch out for those box things because they just, they will kill you. Pretty much the, uh, the weird fun thing about this game is that everything in space will kill you. So you, so you, so you have to watch out. And the music is phenomenal. Uh, see, that was very difficult to get from A to B. Because the way the movement works is if you put too much momentum, then it's like you have to tap just as many times to push yourself to other directions. So yeah, I almost died there. That is just because I'm amazing. I was able to get through that. That that what you just saw was skill. I do like how the character spin, but I got you got to if you miss these holes too much, then the character falls back and then he's gonna die because you're you just time rushed. Okay, so I slow down. I slow down my spinning. There I felt like I was just kind of stuck. There's no way for me to move up to the top and avoid these spikes. So that that makes the game extra challenging. I was hoping to show you those, those like aliens in this game and they just like suck on your brain or some kind of weird weird shit. Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. This isn't the one I was, this is one of the ones I was talking about. Like look, this alien is just sucking on your brain. Let's see if we can find the other green alien that kind of like rips your head off or something weird like 
I do like the frequency of the different levels. So you're not always seeing the same thing. It's always very difficult to, to balance that, I find. Because you want new, oh, come on. You want new content, but that can also be a lot of work. And I got killed. Cool. All right, that was Micro G. Check it out. Links down below. And if you have a game built by Buildbox, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.